So theoretically, we could tune hyperparameters in the following way that we uh, take a grid of possible values of the hyperparameters. We train then for each value of the hyperparameter our model on the training data set and assess the prediction accuracy on the test data set. And then this select that hyperparameter, or if we have a different hyperparameters, hyperparameter combinations that yields the best prediction accuracy, for example, the lowest root mean squared error on the test data set. However, if we use the test data set in this fashion to select a hyperparameter, um, then the resulting root mean squared error on the test data set for the selected model would be too optimistic. Uh, in a sense, because um, we if you say we, we give 10 models to the test data set and we pick the one with the lowest RMSE just by the act of picking the one that has the best prediction accuracy on the test data set, we, we basically get a bias. What a bias means will be explained in a bit more detail in the next chapter, but we basically are too optimistic. The true out of sample root mean squared error will typically then be larger than the one um, um, we, we found if we use the test data set to select a model also. So typically, one does not use the test data set uh, for hyperparameter tuning. Um, rather, one just gives a tuned model to the test data set to have a, a good estimate of the out of sample prediction accuracy, or sometimes one uses a small set of models, for example, one uh, random forest, one neural network, and compares those on the test data set. But typically, one does not use the test data set for picking a tuning parameter. But one can do something similar, and that is we can split the training data set again into two data sets, one so-called validation data set and into a remaining training data set. And then, so we split the training data in this way, and then we again look at a grid of possible values of the hyperparameters and train for each hyperparameter the model on the remaining training data set. And then we assess the prediction accuracy on the validation data. So if we don't use the test data, we don't use this at all the, uh, during hyperparameter tuning, but we use basically this validation data, which was split up again from the training data set. And then we select the hyperparameter with the best prediction accuracy, or if we have several hyperparameters, a combination of hyperparameters with the best prediction accuracy. And then we can again train the model again on the complete training data set using the selected hyperparameters. And only then we use our test data set to um, assess the out of sample root mean squared error, basically of our model using the hyperparameter we have selected before using the validation data set. The important thing is that we now only assess the prediction accuracy on the test data set for a single model. Yeah, so we don't have this problem we had before that we are too over optimistic if we uh, pick basically the best model using the test data set. Now our root mean squared error on the test data set is basically an unbiased estimate of the true out of sample root mean squared error. And again, what bias and unbiased means, we will discuss uh, uh, more in a different context in the next chapter.